remembereth we are dust. February 12. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. Psalm chapter 103 verses 13 to 14. The same power that Christ exercised when he walked visibly among men is in his word. It was by his word that Jesus healed disease and cast out demons. By his word he stilled the sea, and raised the dead, and the people bore witness that his word was with power. He spoke the word of God, as he had spoken to all the prophets and teachers of the Old Testament. The whole Bible is a manifestation of Christ. The scriptures are to be received as God's word to us, not written merely, but spoken. When the afflicted ones came to Christ, he beheld not only those who asked for help, but all who throughout the ages should come to him in like need and with like faith. When he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. When he said to the woman of Capernaum, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, he spoke to other afflicted, sin-burdened ones who should seek his help. So with all the promises of God's word, in them he is speaking to us individually, speaking as directly as if we could listen to his voice. It is in these promises that Christ communicates to us his grace and power. They are leaves from that tree which is for the healing of the nations. Received assimilated, they are to be the strength of the character, the inspiration and sustenance of the life. Nothing else can have such healing power. Nothing besides can impart the courage and faith, which give vital energy to the whole being.